Yes, emotional weather, yoga emotion, um, and the, 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 the sense of emotional weather, which I find such a useful phrase, is that it's always changing. You know, today it might be clouds and the clouds are moving. I can see the clouds now moving. Some of them are grey, white, but it's always changing. So it's a beautiful um, kind of symbol or thing to look at, a way, way of looking at our emotions, seeing it as weather. So there's always blue sky always blue sky no matter what the weather is and with that I ring the bell so we'll try and see and follow our emotions as they move with our breath and our body and you know try our best just to accept the emotion emotional weather as it moves and be interested and curious that's the key be interested and curious in what is happening and actually we're going to start sitting I don't know why I'm standing up <laughs> so I'll be feeling a little bit tired I come a little bit tired today it's quite good to start where you feel comfortable. So we're going to sit for a moment, sitting cross-legged. You might want to sit on a cushion. Let's just have a give ourselves a little stretch. So interlink the fingers, extend the hands up, extend through the elbows. So you feel, oh, getting a lovely length and through the body. Feel the back of the neck nice and long. Feel the chest lifting, the ribs lifting, waist getting lengthened. You feel the back of the back of the body and the the base of the spine is driving into the ground. Just enjoying with your breath, breathing into the chest. The ribs expanding, breathing out and letting them deflate. One more breath in and slowly separate the hands. Breathing out slowly, lower the hands down to the sides. Let the hands just rest on the knees. Just have a little bit of a circle of the knees, just looking at the body hopefully becoming a bit more embodied and just having a bit of a soothing, a soothing feeling. I always like this feeling, rubbing the knees. Yeah, it's very soothing. And then let the knees just, the hands just rest on the knees. Lift the shoulders up, breathing in and out through the mouth. And again, lift the shoulders up, breathing in and out through the mouth. And lift the shoulders up, breathing in, hold. And out through the mouth. Yeah, see how that neck feels, just kind of, how does it feel? Does it feel a bit creaky, just been a bit stiff. So let's have a see if we can um, open that neck up a little bit. I'm just going to let gender in. Okay. So the neck, delicate thing, the neck. So we're going to do this very beautiful neck releaser. So extend the right arm up to the sky, take the hand onto the back of the neck. And you'll see the fingers just here on the left side of the neck. That's what we want, ideally. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just let the head fall forwards. The chin comes to the chest. The arm is just relaxed there. You're holding the, the neck firmly, but not tightly. And then once the head is, for, is forwards, then you start to turn your nose towards your left knee. So we get much more of an opening on the left side. So we're just opening up that neck, keep dropping the shoulders, keep relaxing the body, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Yeah, just enjoy that. It takes a bit of time as well and patience just to allow that very delicate part of the body just to relax and open a little bit, lengthen. Use the inhales to slowly lift up, holding onto the neck still and exhaling, lower the hand down. And see how that feels. Whoa, yeah, makes such a difference. Extend the left arm up and take the hand into the back of the neck, the fingers just resting just below the right ear. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, just slowly bringing the chin to the chest, letting the head fall forwards. Yeah, and then slowly pointing the nose and the eyes looking at the right knee there. Just relaxing and Allowing the right side of the neck to lengthen naturally. Breathe and focus on your breath coming in and out through the nostrils. Good. Use the inhale to lift up the head. Exhaling, lower the arm down. See how that feels? Yeah, let's just roll the shoulders back and the neck starts to open up. It's like, oh yeah, now I've got a bit more space to play with my shoulders. And then forwards with the shoulders, shoulder rolls forwards. Yeah, get the energy moving around. 
And then let's just make sure we reconfigure the energy. Right hand on left shoulder, sweep to the right hip. Left shoulder to right hip, cross the body two and three times. And then the left hand to the right shoulder, sweeping to the left hip, cross the body two. Let's do that three times. Nice sweeps, beautiful. And we're going to take the hands to the knees. Sit tall, lift the chest, feel that abdominals engage. We're going to stir up the base of the spine, breathing in. Lengthen, breathing out, leaning forwards, going around to the right. Breathing in as you lean back, breathing out as you lean forwards. Notice how the shoulders are staying in the same place. The body is staying in the same place. Staying upright, it's not bending in the spine. We're just moving that spine, but it's staying upright and lengthened and engaged. Good, so the elbows just bend easily, the hands and the arms are nice and soft. Inhaling as you lean back, exhaling as you lean forward. We're gonna to come to the center and breathe out. Breathe in, lengthen that the other way, breathing out, leaning forwards, breathing in as you lean back. So we're going around the other direction, going around to the left and back, inhaling. Exhaling is the front part of this circling that we're doing, inhaling as you lean back. Keeping that breath in and out through the nostrils. Good. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Opening up slowly and smoothly. Good. And then we'll come into a twist. It's always good for invigorating the body. So take the left hand behind you. We're going to keep the hand close to the, the arm close to the body. Take the right hand onto the left knee, lifting the chest, lengthen. Mighty bright with the breath, in breath and the out breath. We're just going to twist, taking the, the uh, ribs around to the left, taking that left shoulder back, turning the head slowly. Inhale, lengthen wherever you are, lengthen, lift the spine, shoulders down and breathing out, twisting a little deeper. So try to avoid pushing or forcing or going beyond what the body is allowing you. But you need to see if the body is going to give you a bit more space by breathing out more deeply, breathing out longer. Inhaling, lifting the chest, lengthening. Exhaling, just twisting a little bit deeper. One more breath in. And on twist to the front. See how that feels now. Yeah. Take the right hand behind you, left hand onto the right knee. Breathing in, lift the chest, shoulders down. Breathing out, right ribs coming around to the right, turn the right shoulder. And taking the head around, look right behind you. Keep the shoulders down, keep the neck long, keep the chin tucked in. Every in breath, you're lengthening and lifting. Feel that length in your spine. And as you breathe out and all the breath is going out, feel the space that you're moving into. Breathing in and breathing out. One more breath in and untwist to the front. That's good, that feels good. Let's come into all fours now. Bring the hands firmly on the ground, nice bendy elbows, knees on the ground underneath the hips, space between the knees. What a lovely cat stretch and breath. So we're really moving with the breath, breathing in, lift and open the chest, shoulders back, lift the gaze, look forwards and up. Exhaling starts with the base of the spine, it curls under, ripple up through the spine, arching the spine, chin comes to the chest, looking back at the legs, breathing in. Starting with the base of the spine, it starts lifting, that ripples up through the spine, we're opening the chest, so we're lengthening the spine, then we're arching. Always starts with the base, curling under, arching, moving in time with your breath. Moving in time with your breath, but moving smoothly and slowly. Try and keep that in and out breath smooth. Watching how this steady focus on the breath and the steady movement of the breath, how that affects us, how we feel. How do I feel this movement? Checking that your hands are still engaged with the ground, keeping the elbows soft, keeping the chest open, heart is opening. Really enjoy that arching. How much can you lift the center of the back, lifting it almost right up out of the shoulders? Just see how you're 
focus of breath and movement, really start to increase the range of movement in the spine. It's so encouraging when we can feel, oh yeah, it's starting to really open up. I'm starting to feel it's much more of an arch now and I'm feeling more in contact with my body. So we're just going to sit back into the heels now. Extend the arms forward, bring the forward to the ground. Breathing in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Ah, let it all go. Ah. And just enjoy that very passive opening. You know, we're just keeping the body still, but we're just getting that lovely opening in the back of the shoulders, just releasing. Ah. A few releasing breaths out through the mouth, ah, sigh. Ah. And then just looking at the hands there, thread the fingers wide, keep the hands engaged with the ground. Use the inhale to lift up to all fours where you are, and the exhale, letting the hips come forwards, opening the chest. Let's see how that chest feels. Yeah, we're just warming the back up, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Again, moving smoothly, focus all your attention on the smoothness, the steadiness of the movement, which is matching the smoothness and the steadiness of your breath. And the breath is staying in the nostrils, in and out through the nostrils. If you focus on these things, you'll find the mind becomes much more focused, you start to become much more embodied, then we start to become more present. And we can then start to realize and see the way our feelings change and shift, subtle little movements. You know, they can change like the wind, they can change just like the sun coming out and the sun going in. The clouds moving across that sky, that beautiful big vast blue sky that we are in, that we are. We are that vast blue sky, but sometimes there's a few clouds get in the way. Sit back into your heels, bring the forward to the ground, sweep the hands back into the pose of the child. Setting the back of the arms, rest on the ground, shoulders relax forwards. Let's see if we can soften those cheeks, let them hang forwards. And we'll try and make that a little bit more so. They're breathing into the nostrils, they're making this sound on the out breath, that's release. And because it's fun. We're breathing into the nostrils. And out through the mouth, go. Just send and slide those hands forwards. Again, spread the fingers wide. So we're really thrust forwards, come up onto all fours so we're ready for our downward dog tuck. The toes under, breathing in, breathing out, lift the knees off the ground. And let's just walk the dog because the backs of those legs might be a little bit stiff to begin with. So we're just gonna bend one knee, and push the other heel down, bend the left knee, push the right heel down. And you can make that quite exaggerated, but still keep thinking about tucking the tummy in, keeping the back really long, pushing back through the hands, the head's coming down towards the ground. So really enjoy that movement. Breathe all the time, support the body with the breath. Bring the heels down as much as you can, but focus more. What's more important is this length of the spine. So if you need to bend your knees slightly, that's okay to achieve that. But uh, better to do that than, than focus more on the, on the lengthening and straightening of the legs. Strengthen the thighs there. Good. Come back down to the knees, sit back into the heels. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's take another breath there. Breathing into the nostrils, breathing out through the mouth. We'll come back to downward dog and do a little hip opener version, which is so nice. So again, tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the ground, looking back towards the feet. The head is coming towards the ground, push back through the hands. Now take a small side step with the left foot, so it's more central. <clears throat> and then lift the right leg up high, point the toe. Lift it as high as you can, keep pushing back through the hands. And then you're gonna bend the right knee and let it hang over the left side of the body and take the face and look underneath the right armpit, looking up at the ceiling. This really helps to open that body up, open up the front of the right hip 
And it's strong because you're only standing on one of your legs and you're having to balance a bit as well. So there's a lot going on. Now straighten the leg. Bring that right leg down. If you need to take a rest in between, that's fine. Otherwise, we're going to just switch legs and lift the left leg, point the toe, extend that leg, really extend it. Imagine there's someone pulling your toe up, then bend the knee, let the leg fall over to the right side of the body and look up under the left armpit, looking up at the ceiling. How does that feel to open the left hip? A lot of releasing there, so breathe. What is the emotional quality of this area? Can you open it up, give it some space. Point the toe, bring that toe down. <clears throat> bring the knees down again and sit back into the heels. Just take a moment there, breathe. Bring the forehead to the ground. Nice and easy. Widen the knees if you need to. Breathe into the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth, good. <clears throat> so this time we're going to come on to all fours. We're going to come into an up dog. Yeah. So we're going to come in from um, this position, which means we want to take the right foot back onto the toe, left foot back onto the toe. So we're in a plank to begin with. And then we just drop the hips down. Simple as that. And take the, ch the chest forward. Very important. If we just drop the hips down and we kind of, you know, we're just kind of slumped. But it's very active. So the legs are active. You see, I'm pushing my heels back. You can have the knees on the floor if that feels too strong. But the chest is open, the shoulders are down away from the ears. It's strong on the arms. So have a slight bend in the elbow so you're really using your arm rather than locking them. If you lock them, the shoulders come forwards. Good. Great. And we're going to move from this position to a down dog. So breathing in, lift the hips into the air. Breathing out, it's going to come back to down dog. Good. It kind of feels like a release after that. <clears throat> and we'll just walk the feet towards the hands. Come into the rag doll, let the body hang. Knees are bent, upper body is hanging. Let the head hang. Just turn the head as if you're saying no. So just kind of giving some release, more release to the neck. Breathing into the nostrils. Ah. So make some sound through your mouth. Whatever sound you want to make is okay. We're going to unravel. So bring your focus of attention to the base of the spine and feel your lifting from that place, leaving the arms heavy, leaving the head heavy. Slowly unravel, keep breathing in and out. Give the body energy, give it pure, give it support with the breath. And we'll just roll the shoulders back a few times when we come to standing. Good, yeah. So let's uh, get these oiled joints. So let's just start moving the wrists in one direction. You can let the elbows join in. We're just getting those arms a bit more lively and watching them as well and taking the other direction. So nice gentle circular movements. Get the elbows going, the hands, they can be in front, behind, sides, up. Just keep that. Uh, Keep yourself interested and curious. And then these little stars with the fingers, just releasing the tension. Yeah. And let's have a look at the ankles as well. You can put the hands on the hips if you want to. Lifting the right ankle, we're just going to rotate that right ankle. So imagine you're drawing a big circle with the big toe. And the other direction. Oh, yeah. Because not only you notice, it's not just the ankle when you just rotate that. You also start to feel that into your um, lower part of your leg and also having to balance means your legs have to work. And then we're just going to let the knee have some movement, but really lovely supported movement because there's no weight on it. So we're just let, giving that little swing there. And then just let the whole leg swing through. So again, this is now the hip. So just using the weight of the body, gravity, to open up and loosen and warm the body. And if you want to, you can bring it in front and behind. So making a big circle, if you like, with the, with the toes. Big circle, which is going around the other leg. A bit of balance here and breath. Keep the breath moving, it will really help the balance. Front and behind, and then come back standing 
on both feet, give the legs a little shake, put the weight onto the right foot, and we'll just take this left ankle now, rotating, how does that feel? You'll feel that in your shins as well probably, so if you're I can feel my shins a bit stiff, so that's really engaging that, and then rotate it in the opposite direction. Stay with that, breathe all the time, and then letting that knee just have a little bit of movement there. It's really good to just keep these joints moving. You know, even when we feel tired, just always movement, movement, movement is everything. It helps our feelings to move when we move physically. And if we don't, sometimes when we don't feel like it, you know, we feel like just slumping. It's kind of, you know, nothing can move, everything just gets a bit stagnant. So, and that's okay, sometimes it's okay just to be a bit stagnant, but you know, if you want to help this movement of feelings, processing, the movement really, really helps. And swinging that leg through, and then we just take it in front and behind, so making a circle around this leg now. How does it feel on this side? Does it feel different to the other side? Yeah, sometimes different qualities and different sides of the body. If we get to explore that, it makes it more interesting. Yeah, give the legs a little shake, as I feel now. And we're going to bring the side of the feet together. That's just lively, it's whole body up. <clears throat> and I'll battery charge up, breathing in. Extend the arms up. Lift the heels off the ground, hold, squeeze everything together, hold the breath in, and then breathing out, lower the arms down slowly. We'll do three of these just to charge up the battery, breathing in. Reach up, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the arms together, hold the breath in for a second or two, and breathing out slowly through the nostrils, bring the heels back down. Yeah, intensity followed by softness. Breathing in, hold, 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 and breathing out softly and slowly. Lift the shoulders up again. Needs more, always needs more release. And out through the mouth. Good. Come bring the feet a bit wider. Knees are nice and soft. We'll just come into these Tai Chi twists. To again, loosen, loosen it all up. Ah, feel this space around you and the movement. Ah, how is the how is the emotional weather now? What's it doing? Is it following the actual weather? <laughs> Uh, let the backs of the hands smack into the lower back just to invigorate the body, wake up the subtle energy. Oh yeah, and then get those get those knuckles either side of the lower spine there. Oh yeah, let's just lively up the spine, get some energy rising up. Breathe with it. Yeah, good. Take the fingers to the chest as well. Let's lively up. The heart, the chest, whoo. Yeah, enjoy that feeling. Maybe make some sound again. Breathing in. Uh, on the sides. Uh, just because it feels good to make sound and feel our voices and hear our voices. Oh, it's much better. And we're just going to um, do a little mini cross crawl. So lifting the left knee and meeting it with the right hand. We'll just do a couple of these just for Getting that energy coordinated, getting the mind and the body a bit more coordinated. And we just take the leg out to the side and then the arm comes over the head. So we get a nice extension through the side of the body. Breathe as we're doing this, breathe. Yeah, a bit more lively, a bit more woken up. Okay, and I think also now we need to just the Sweep out any of those dark clouds, breathing in with a half breath. <sighs> really swing the arms. Okay, good. And again. <sighs> Let the arms swing. Release all the breath out on the half. Maybe we'll do a ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. Makes you smile, then it's definitely good. <laughs> good. Let's do one more of those. <laughs> So we're a bit more freed up now. Let's come to the front of the mat. We're going to come into Trikonasana. 
So feet hips width apart, parallel. Put the weight onto the left foot now and step back with the right. Get the legs nice and strong, but soft need. Hips level with the long edge of the mat. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down. Breathing in, open the chest, palms are wide. Breathing out, reaching over to your left and down. Make contact with the leg. Press against that, open the chest. Right shoulder goes back, left shoulder just shuffles forwards a little bit. Looking up at the right fingers there, they're extended up to the ceiling. Just enjoy that openness we're getting in the front of this right hip as well. Right hip is this pivotal point, so it's strong. And it's not leaning forwards over the body, it's staying above the other hip, if you like. So everything is kind of in one plane. Unlock the knees, feel the feet, maybe wiggle the toes. Looking up, you can always take the left, the right hand up, uh, behind the back if you prefer that, because it's still chest opening. We're still doing the same thing though. But this, this, the, the good thing about having the arm elevated is that we're lifting and lengthening, we're extending as well. Good. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down to the sides, bend into the right knee and come forwards to the front of the mat. Just take a moment to notice the difference between the sides. Put the weight onto the right foot and step back with the left. Good. Find your feet. Nice even weight between the feet. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Lengthen the body. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide. Breathing out, reaching over to your right and down. Make contact with that lower leg there and reaching up to the ceiling with the left fingers. Yeah, give them a little wiggle, extend. But the fingers are like little sunshines, you know, they're really lovely little fingers. So much movement in the hands. And it's good to really focus on the small details, you know, obviously we've got these big body parts, we've got this left hip, we've got this shoulder going back and down away from the ear and lengthening in the neck, but these little details of extending into the fingers just brings real, uh, just brings a bit of joy actually into the, into the posture and also keeps our attention. Use the inhale to come up, exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the left knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Okay, take a moment there, give the legs a little wiggle. Ah, yeah, we're gonna step back, bigger step for warrior two. So put the weight onto the left foot, big step back. Up the foot, foot a bit wider if you want to. Toes pointing slightly forward. Get the hips level to themselves, strong belly. Remember to point the tailbone down, strong here in this part of the body. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Extend the fingers away from each other. Breathing out, bending into that left knee, pushing back into that right foot, good. A length in the back of the neck, so the shoulders are down away. And let's move with this, breathing in, lift the chest, lengthen the legs, breathing out, sinking down. So just the, the base of the body is going down towards the ground. The weight is not going forwards, that knee is going forwards, it's hovering above the ankle, but we're also pushing back with equal effort into that back, back foot and the back leg. Just moving with that, inhaling and exhaling, looking down that left arm. Keeping the shoulders down, checking the back arm isn't drooping. It's kind of sometimes when you're not looking, it, it starts to drop. Good. One more breath in. Breathe out, sink into the posture. And let's see if we can hold this for a couple of breaths. Keep lifting the chest, lengthening the front of the body. Keep the shoulders down, back of the neck long. Head on top of the body. Extend the arms away from each other. Fingers extend. And use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the right knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good. Switch the legs, so weight on the right foot, step back with the left. Big step. Just get your feet level, get your hips level, breathing in, lift the arms up, legs in the body, breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, into the chest, breathing out, let's bend into the right knee, it's going in line with the toes, it's important. Inhaling, lifting up, feel the chest expanding, exhaling, the knee is going forwards, the left heel is pushing back. Everything is expanding away from the center. The chest is lifting away, 
the groin is going down to the ground, the, the right knee is going forward, the left heel is pushing back, the fingertips are extending away from the chest. Inhaling, exhaling, good. The tip, top of the head, even the crown is lifting up to the skies. Breathing in and breathing out. Lifting up to those beautiful blue skies, which are always there. One more breath in, breathing out, sinking down. Good. And breathe, enjoy this beautiful dynamic posture, strong warrior. Feel your strength there. Use the inhale to come up, lower the arms on the exhale, bend into the left knee, bring yourself back to front of the mat. Give the legs a little shake now. Let's come into a little squat then. So coming down into the squat, making sure that you support your heels if they're lifted. If they're lifted off the ground, put something underneath them. And then just let the body hang between the legs. Let the head hang, let the back of the neck hang. You can even rest forwards onto your forearms, hands on the ground, whatever feels good. Let's take a few releasing breaths, breathing into the nostrils and out through the mouth. Breathe into the nostrils. And out for the mouth. <sighs> Let it all go. Let it all go. Let's do a little twist while we're here. So left hand on the ground, breathing in, lift the right fingertips to the sky, to the ceiling. Keep extending up into those fingers and then we'll take, rotate that right wrist because it feels nice. And it keeps our attention just moving. And we feel our arm, you know, this lovely, it's not just the uh, wrist that gets that movement, the arm, these little twists just enlivens that arm. And then we go the other direction, anti-clockwise maybe, and let that hand come down in movement to the ground. Lift, breathing in, the fingertips lift up to the ceiling. Extend the fingers up, maybe give them a little wriggle, looking up at those fingers, and then we rotate the wrist again. Feel the impact of that movement on the arm. How oh, it's just enlivening that arm, a little twist. And then we rotate it in the opposite direction. Yeah, movement. And as it's coming in the opposite direction, it's coming back down in movement, in a fun way, down to the ground again. Come into the ragdoll, just to give the back another extra treat. Oh yeah, that feels so good. Let's have a little swing here as well. Ah, enjoy your back. Don't forget to keep your knees bent. Ah, keep breathing. And then as you bring your attention to the base of the spine, you're unraveling. Keep the knees bent. See if you can keep your knees bent the whole time you're unraveling. So we get this lovely ah, wave coming through the body. And we're back to standing again. Okay, back to the front of the mat. Another warrior, peaceful warrior this time. Weight on the left foot, big step back with the right. Getting a bit more lively in the body now. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms to the shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest, fingertips extend away. Really strong arms, breathing out, bending into that left knee. So we're in the warrior two, then we breathe in. Breathing out, reaching back with that right arm and down. Reaching up with the left fingers, turn the hand and the hand, palm of the hand is coming over the body. Keep the bend in the left knee. If not, you know, just make that more prominent now in this moment. And just enjoy the opening of that left shoulder. Wow, such a big movement here. Just a lovely long line we're making. Lean quite strongly onto that back leg, but make it very strong by pushing into that back heel. Good, breathe. Good, use the inhale to come back up. To warrior, breathing out, sinking into the warrior again. Use the inhale to straighten up, stand up, and the exhale to lower the arms down. Everything is smooth and graceful, bending into the right knee, pulling yourself back to the front of the mat. Good. Switch legs, put the weight onto the right foot. And step back, big step back to the left. Let's get the hips level, breathe in, lift the arms up. Lift the chest, breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height, breathing in. Fill your chest with space and air, breathing out, bending into that right knee, just checking it's 
in line with the toes and not collapsing inwards. Good. Breathe in. To the chest again, breathing out, reaching back with that left hand and down, reaching up with the right hand, the fingertips reaching up, turn the palm. The palm is felt coming over the body, arm is coming over the body. And you can still see the ceiling um, on the inside of the arm. It's not kind of come into, plopped in front of your face. Strong back leg, lean quite strongly, hold on to the leg. Keep the bend in the right knee and the front knee. Let go a bit deeper. Breathe, breathe, expand. Use the inhale to come back up. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, straighten up the legs. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good. Oh, very enlivening, peaceful warrior. Give the legs a little wriggle there. And we're gonna just do a little Tai Chi twist again to loosen it up. So feet are nice and wide, knees are nice and springy. And we just loosen everything up, let the arms swing around. How is the space feeling now? How is the weather feeling around us? And inside us, what is our, what's the weather chart looking like? Yeah, breathe, feel the space. How does the temperature of the space the air as your arms swing through that space. Yeah, and slowly come to a stop. So it's something for a balance now. We'll come into tree balance. So we'll start by standing on the left foot. So bring the weight into that left foot. And we start to lift the right foot and place it where we want to, either on the ankle or the calf, not on the knee or the inside of the thigh. Pressing into it and pressing that thigh back if you're on the thigh, opening the knee up. Lift the chest away, breathing in. Focus your eyes and keep breathing in and out. Bring the arms up and then bring the hands to the heart center prayer position. So we're really lifting the chest towards the hands as if they want to meet the hands there. And taking the shoulders down away from the ears, really feeling the center line and making sure that we're not pushing the hip out of line. You know, this is, this is we want to stand tall. So we press the thigh back, we keep this center line which we are um, really is evident in the this line that we're meeting with the hands the hands are meeting that center line so they're pressing evenly trying to find that center the back of the neck is long the chin is tucked in the chest is lifted the front of the body is open we're ungripping the toes we dare to ungrip because we have roots going down from the sole of that foot deep into the earth yeah keeping us stable and strong and the breath is supporting us and keeping us stable and strong now we use the inhale to reach those arms up reach the branches up hand breathing out lower the arms down slowly catch that right knee lift it up give it a squeeze and slowly lower the leg down give the legs a little shake there oh yeah Reset, and then we take the weight into the right foot. Really let that settle into that foot. Don't go into gripping straight away. Lift the toes, place them down. Breathe in and out through the nostrils. Nice steady breath, and then place the left foot wherever you want to place it, but not on the knee. If you're pressing it on the thigh, like I said before, very important to press that thigh back. So it really helps this dynamic and also it helps to balance. So now we lift the arms up again, bring the hands above the head, and then bring them into this prayer position. Good. Open the knee to the side. So hip opening here, lifting and lengthening the front of the body, keeping the shoulders down. Everything is engaged. Just the whole back is lively. The hip is opening, the chest, the heart is opening. We're standing tall and just really focused. Your eyes are focused, your breath is focused, your mind is focused. This is what is so good about balances, is it really, you know, it really brings a sharp focus to the mind. It can't wander so easily when it has to focus on balancing. Good. Breathe. Just feeling all the little movements, all the wobbles, breathing. Good. Breathing in, extend the arms up. Breathing out, lower the arms down slowly. Catch the knee, lift it high, give it a squeeze and lower it down slowly. That's 
give the legs a little wriggle and let the upper body have a join in that movement just having a little shake yeah it feels good to do that okay we're going to come into a releasing strong posture one of my favorites the goddess to so get the feet nice and wide feet are out uh, to kind of kind of a 45 ish degree angle but when you bend your knees you'll be able to find the exact angle that is right for you so the knees are going out to the side in the same line as the toes or the toes are actually matching the knees is a better way of doing it bring the hands together pressing the hands together lifting the chest towards the hands we're just getting these legs more lively and strong so feel the strength in your legs as you lower down see if you can go a bit lower inhaling as you push up through the feet and lengthen the legs exhaling as you come down inhaling exhaling using the nostrils to breathe in and out of and let's see if we can go for this goddess now breathing in stretch up and then with the tongue and the eyes lively up myself breathing in spread the fingers wide be fierce and bold breathing in let's do that one more time we embody this goddess one more time Good. Okay, bring the feet together. Give the legs a little shape. And we're going to come into a little bit of a moment of a universal prayer. So appreciation, gratitude, and also, you know, asking. Asking for what we want and need to support us in our life and in our practice. So breathing in. And breathing out, pointing the fingers down, breathing in, open the arms up and look up to where the hands are meeting above your head and bring them back to the heart centre. Beautiful, simple little practice. Fingers point down. And the inhale begins. You open up to possibility, you open up to hope, you open up to the unravelling future, which doesn't even exist yet and appreciate this moment appreciate this present moment exactly what is happening exactly how we're feeling this moment being with the breath and being with the movement just letting that flow and as we reach up as well also just allowing ourselves to ask Reach out, ask and acknowledge what we really want and need here to support us on our journey. Let's do one more. Reach out, allow yourself to ask and then draw that energy as if you're receiving that already. It's coming into your body. You can feel that. Bring the hands to the heart centre, close the eyes. Just feeling the ground by wiggling the toes. Knees are nice and soft. So really feeling your body, your breath, and centering your attention in the heart space. In the centre of your heart. And how does your heart feel today? What is the emotional weather around your heart? Mm. Open the eyes, drop the hands down. We're going to come down to the ground. So let's come into a forward bend. Breathing in, extend the arms up. Make sure the feet are hips width apart and parallel. You can always take hold of the back if you feel that's going to be more uh, supportive for you. And breathing out, forward bending, strong back, straight line with the arms all holding the back. And then bring the hands to the ground. Make sure you make contact with that ground. Maybe it's fingertips or maybe it's the whole hand and stay looking at the toes rather than looking at the knees so we're keeping that back nice and long and rather than pushing the knees back much better to feel that you're lengthening the legs much better to feel also that you're taking the chest towards the ground to that spot right in between the toes and you're lifting the base of the spine that tail right up to the sky so we've got these two points moving away from each other breathing in and breathing out, just allow the body, give it some time 
and space and your attention most of all good and then we just catch ourselves bring the bottom to the ground come onto seated extend the legs out in front of us bounce the knees and we're going to lower the body down slowly so bring the legs together toes pointing towards the ceiling extend the fingers towards those toes as if they want to reach the toes but we're going to lay the body down so keep this keep this tension so this is um you know this is again where we are in control of the tension in our body and we're using it we keep breathing in and out so we're not completely tense we're fueling that so that we've decided we want to tense and then we decide we're going to let go of that and how nice the difference feels how much more relaxed we feel when we reach the ground breathe in through the nostrils sigh out through the mouth let's just hug the knees now bring the knees into the chest have a little rock and roll side to side yeah just enjoy the lower back give it a little bit of a massage there and then have a knee a little rub there too and hands around the front of the knees up and asana so it's breathing in take the knees away breathing out bring the knees into the body lift the nose towards the knees breathing in breathing out feel and imagine that breath is in the spine as you breathe in and as you breathe out and you can feel Feel the, the shape of the spine so it's flat on the ground as you inhale, you're lengthened, the breath is filling the spine. And as you breathe out, we're just curving and emptying the breath, curling up as much as possible. So we're moving through the range of motion of the spine. And if you want to, you can extend that even more. So as you breathe in, you can let the knees come away from the hands, take the arms above the head. Extend the legs as far away as you want to. It hasn't got to be very far if you don't want to, but they must keep the back glued to the ground. So a strong belly here is required. And breathing out, coming back to this tiny little shape. So we've just expanded the in-breath and the lengthening, but we still keep the back on the ground, the whole of the back on the ground. Breathing out, squeezing, breathing in, lengthen back, breathing in. Filling the back with air, breathing out, squeezing all the air out, breathing in. Just feeling the difference between that in breath and the out breath. That strong, revitalizing, vibrant inhale and the releasing, softening. Excellent. And then we just let the knees, uh, let the feet fall to the ground. Feet are close to the buttocks feet parallel and the space between them there is space they're about hips width apart hands on the ground fingers extending down towards the bottom of the mat chin is tightly tucked in now as if your chin wants to touch the chest now use that inhale to lift and peel the back off the ground open the front of the body knees going away from you chest is coming towards your chin and then rolling down on the out breath again we're enjoying our spine giving it breath giving it movement Really check as well as you lift that your thighs are staying level. So that's going to require some strength in the thighs. Also keeping them and the knees in the same place. They're not splaying out. That's what they probably want to do. Or coming together. And we're rolling the spine down. Enjoy your spine. Keep the chin tucked in. If you want to, you can, you can move a bit more. If you like this movement of the arms, if that helps, lifting them up. And as you roll the spine down the arms, try and make the hands meet the ground just as the base of the spine is, is reaching the ground. Inhaling and exhaling, very simple. Inhale and exhale. Good. You can even uh, alternate these, you know, you could do one lifting without the arms, or next time with the arms. Kind of a little bit of variety, different movements. Keep your attention as well, we'll keep our attention and just bring the back down and counterpose by hugging the knees. Have a little rock side to side. 
And then we're just going to keep the knees up onto the chest there, but take the arms out to the side for a lying twist. So the hands go out, flat to the ground, arms out to the side, just breathe again. As you breathe out, let the knees fall to the left and the head goes over to the right. And we'll just rest there for a couple of breaths. Relax the legs, doesn't matter if they start straightening out, but we don't want them up in the air, the feet up, you know, up in the air, like we're holding them, we're just released. Looking down the opposite direction. So the knees going to the left, the eyes and the head are looking down that right arm. Breathe. As you inhale, lift the knees to center, lift the head to center. Exhaling, lower the knees down to the right, slowly, and the head goes over to the left. And release the legs, the weight of the legs, the feet, relax the feet. And feel your breath again is in your spine, but it's a, feels a very different spine, this lovely twist. So you could imagine the breath is entering in from the base of the spine, traveling up from the spine, right to the top of the head. As you breathe out, just going back down through the spine, down and out through the base of the spine. Enjoying your breath. Breath coming in and out. Use the inhale to lift your knees to centre, lift your head to centre, hug the knees, give them a little squeeze. Good. Extend the legs up to the ceiling, extend the arms, rotate the wrists and ankles once more. Yeah, wrists and ankles have a bit of a treat today. An opposite direction. Good. Bend the knees again. Put the soles of the feet on the ground. And we'll just have it lying in the semi supine position. For a nice soften, softening and softened ending to our practice. So the feet are a comfortable distance away from your bottom there. And you can even let your knees fall together. That feels better. It feels very relaxing for the, ba the base of the spine and the lumbar region there. So just place the hands on the body, wherever you want to place them, on the belly or on the hips there. And breathe. You feel that just, you're giving yourself some breath and support. The back is really supported here. And we're going to move with the breath very gently. Inhaling, lifting the arms up, very soft. The arms aren't even straight, they're just bent and they're just being laid back softly. Slight opening in the chest as you breathe in and bring them back to the body on the exhale. The breath is coming in and out through the nostrils, very soft, very steady. And just close the eyes, you know, feel this, enjoy this feeling. Breath coming in and breath going out. So there's no real you know, strong dynamic here, it's all soft. It's soft. The breath is expansive, but it's in a very kind of easy, soft way. And we just feel that nice feeling of the hands landing and the weight of the hands on the body. Inhaling. Just using the breath to move the body nice and easily. And we'll just do one or two more of these with the eyes closed. And the next time you find your hands resting on your body, you can just stay there if you want to for a relaxation, stay exactly where you are. You might want to put more clothes on or put a blanket on you. Or you may just want, oh, I just want to stretch my legs out, let my legs relax, let my arms flop out to the side into Shavasana. Breathing in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sighing out through the mouth, coming to a very lovely, relaxed position. Breathe, breathe, allow your body to be soft, be comfortable. Breathe, and just relax your breath totally now. Enjoy. Enjoying the feeling of the breath taking care of itself. You're not doing anything to it. We're just watching it, paying attention to the breath. It's very soft. Noticing how soft 
almost invisible, the breath can be coming in and out through the nostrils, but without any effort. Allow the body to soften, allow the body to sink and melt into the ground. The body is softening. Feel the support of the ground, feel this earth beneath you, feel the sky above you. So we have the mother earth beneath us, father sky above us. We're held, we're held. We are supported and we are held. So we feel that in this moment. Mm. Feel your breath moving like the ocean between the sky and the earth. So we're coming to the end of our relaxation, the end of our practice. And just notice how you feel as you start to move and waken the body up. Notice how your breath feels, how your body feels, how your mind feels, how your energy is, how your emotional weather is. Just watching that and noticing how much blue sky is there, how many clouds. What is that landscape? Mm. So stretch and move, hug the knees, do whatever you feel you need to. And come back to seated, slowly in your own time, rubbing the legs, looking at the legs, the knees, and the arms. Give them a little bit of a rub. Yeah. So good to do this. Enlivening. Coming back to the day, waking ourselves up. Fully, fully awake, fully with uh, the external world. Put the palms together. Let's really focus that energy between the palms and the hands. Yeah, give it some breath fuel and place it over the heart center. Close the eyes. And bring to mind your sankalpa, your intention, your promise to yourself, the direction you want to follow, how you want to grow. And say that sentence to yourself, those words with meaning, emphasis, and with joy. Good. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. <laughs>